Well, again, you know, I, I think we're getting better. Uh, you know, playing Coach Floyd's team is always hard because they just keep you off balance so much with what they're going to do defensively. And I think that's where having a player like Kari, uh, you know, even though he didn't score any points or a lot of points or whatever, uh, look at the turnovers. I mean, he kept us down to 11 turnovers. and. So our offense is starting to, to play a little bit better. I uh, thought we got really tired the last six or seven minutes. A couple of them wanted to come out and just couldn't let them uh, because, you know, we got it to double digits and turned it over back-to-back -back times and then also missed a layup. Uh, and those are things that, uh, you know, we can't afford to do. And then they got to where they were driving everything to, to just stop the clock and go sc score at the free throw line. But overall, Again, uh, to get a home win against UTEP, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, how can you not feel any better? Two wins in a row hasn't happened since mid-November. How does it make you feel as a coach? Feels great. <laughs> tired. And you, talk, you, always, you always talk about tired of losing, and, and it'll come around, and the office will open up. Sure. And actually, all falling falls together. Sure. Uh, how easy does it make your job? You know, things like that. Well, anytime. You make shots again, back-to-back -back shots by Quentin. You know, you think that's good offense, and actually, it was bad offense. But he ended up bailing it, uh, bailing us out. And uh, you know, we ran some good stuff and missed the layup and, and had a turnover, which was good offense, but turned into turnover. So, uh, I do think we're getting more possessions of good offense, and what that's what you're asking. And so. When you get more possessions of good offense, uh, then you're going to look better. One of those reasons, again, is we're no, no longer turning it over 18 times a game. Uh, I think that's back-to-back -back games where we've had 10 or 11 turnovers. And so we're getting more possessions. A little bit disappointing in the free throws. We've got to hit those. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, didn't zone them. Probably should have zoned them more, probably. Uh, but I thought that, uh, again, they had two dudes who got 49 points. And uh, first half, a, uh, you know, Artisan and uh, the other kid, uh, Harris, get 12 of their 14 field goals. And, you know, we was trying to just load up on those two guys. And, uh, you know, Artis is capable of getting hot. And so I was afraid of doing that. But uh, offensively, I thought we was a little bit better. Talk about the zone versus the man. You, you did man primarily all game. You had zone a little bit. Yeah, the with the last two or three minutes, yeah. But then you have Edwards who could, I guess, go offensively or defensively with guys who are – Well, players. Cortez is able to defend anyone. And a lot of that is because he's tough and he's not afraid to stick his nose in there. But then his anticipation and, and, and his, his uh, feel for basketball is off the chart. And he makes plays. And uh, so, uh, you know, that's why we're able to play some zone and um, – Against a lot of teams, we're gonna have to. Yeah. Doug, how do you uh, learn from this momentum to carry it on to the next game? Just you know, as I told the team, uh, you'll take tomorrow off. We hadn't had a day off since we've been back from Hawaii. I know they're tired. It'll be good for Kari. Kari was awful sore yesterday and today. Not just his knee, just his body. His knee was a little bit, but uh, so uh, we're at the point of the season now, and and we need to be in October because we still got a lot of stuff to do and put in with the switch over in offense with, you know, Quentin basically now going with four guards. Uh, but, you know, we can only go an hour and a half to maybe two hours because these good dudes are playing. I mean, look at the minutes that some of these guys are playing, 37, 36, 34, you know, and then it, it, it'll catch up to you. So, uh, you know, we just got to come in and continue to work offensively and uh, try to try – to, put them in some positions to to maybe get some baskets. And then, you know, that's where we're at. Talk a little about defense. You scored 21 points combined, only three turnovers. How, how crucial is that? Defense? Well, it's huge. It's huge. And I think more than anything, uh, you know, Mike Ramey's going to make shots, uh, you know, but Robert Robert came in and made a big shot, a big shot. So I got some guys on the bench that I think that can go in and, and when we're struggling maybe, especially when teams try to zone us that can get an open look and knock down a shot. Uh, I blow. I played 88 minutes. Uh, you know, he'd been sick. Uh, 
he wasn't able to really play any on on Thursday. So we've got we've got seven or eight guys that we can play, and and we're gonna need them all. The last four or five minutes of the first half, you uh, it was a do, yeah. kind of took yeah. control, and including getting three kind of inside shots. How did that come about? You know, we when they went zone, we usually. We usually get in two or three different things, but we went motion against it. And if you remember, Cortez got a couple of easy baskets by just going to open spaces after we've handled and moved the basketball. And again, uh, we thought that one of the things going into the game uh, that we could do is when they did go zone, is load up, and then and then when it came back out of car, is penetrated. And we was gonna get two on one on the backside, and we happened to hit one shot. Tez got a layup on one of them, so I think our guys did a good job of 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 not being in a structured offense, being in a you know just a a free offense, I guess is a, you know motion offense, whatever. And they did a good job. You said Clinton wasn't that. That's not the primary thing. He hit three uh, threes out of both corners, but that's not what we spoke. Oh no 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 it was, okay. but if you, I mean, Quentin's one of our better shooters. But all I'm saying is, is we ran, we ran some better offense where we got layups and we missed them and turned it over. But you know you get a, I mean both those threes were wide open. He just hit them and uh, yeah yeah and that's uh, going back to Pat's question is is that you know that was one of the things we thought we could get a numbers on one side and played the numbers on the back. And, and the corner shot was going to be there. And if you go back and look at the shots against their zone, most of our shots came in the corner. And that's where we thought they would be. Mike missed two of them uh, that normally he'll hit in the corner there. And, you know, but that's where we were trying to attack is the corner. Coach, you talked about Kyrie uh, bringing a little bit of confidence to the team. As far as Quentin goes, it looks like he knocked down a couple shots and Early, yeah, he got – once again, you know, now he's playing in a position, uh, you know, that probably uh, he's going to have a mismatch if, if, if they come out on us, just like the other night San Antonio or even the night he was, he's able to drive it on the people that's guarding him. And if they stay back because they know that, then Quentin's a good enough shooter that he's going to have an open jump shot. So – most college basketball teams that win have a mismatch at that one spot, that four spot, and uh, and, and and now we've got it. With Quentin and Cortez, um, and also Kari, also, uh, just to game tape and kind of have an offense that obviously can maybe spread out the ball a little bit more and take some open shots. How does that play out? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't remember the first half. I looked at the assist to, to baskets, and it was phenomenal. So we ended up with 14 assists uh, out of, well, I mean, 50 percent of our. I thought it'd be a little higher than that because in the first half, our assist to, to baskets was pretty high. But even 50 percent, 14 out of 25 baskets were assists. So that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty good. The importance of uh, stopping. Being able to stop the other team's momentum is huge. Like when when the teams are going to make runs, like when you can. The last couple of games, you guys have, have done Been a able good to. job of, of stopping them, and, and I think it was those back-to-back -back dunks uh, that, that really you know they had pushed it to within five. Right, minutes. right. Well, uh, two possessions, yeah. and 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 it started with rebounds. And again, uh, you know, we only gave up eight offensive rebounds with a pretty small team. And again. You know, uh, even though uh, uh, Cortez didn't have 13 rebounds tonight, uh, you know, Quentin had 10. And so, you know, that's what's got to happen. Anything else? Hey, thank you all. Appreciate it. Okay.